How's it going? David Comic Book Investments. So I've been on YouTube, not having a channel, but watching people's content for well over a decade. I've had this channel um, for probably going on four years now, I think. Um, I can't remember exactly when I started. I'll have to look it up. But I also had a channel before that where I think I uploaded my first video like 10 years ago. It was a cover I did. But I've been watching different content and I've been watching comic book content as well. Uh, and a lot of people have asked me like, oh, who do you watch? Who do you like to watch? Um, and this is why I always tell people I have, I mean, I do comic books for a living. Like that's what I do in day in, day out. And then on my, I guess, free time, uh, if I'm not working on comic books, I'm working on YouTube comic book related stuff. So watching content is not some like watching more comic book content is not something I always do. But there are some channels that I do watch and I'll occasionally, you know, peep in every once in a while and see what's going on. And so I've made a list of like my top five comic book uh, YouTube channels that I enjoy watching. These are in no particular order. Uh, I don't want to say one's better than the other, but I'll just say how I first discovered them. So I'll go to like the first one I discovered that I still watch today and so on. So the first one that I still watch today and is probably one of my oldest one is Comistorian. And that is the late uh, Benny, Ben Potter. He, he still has it. I think his team and his wife, I think still keep it going, but it's a nice channel to watch. Like if I ever want to know about a particular story, but I don't really want to go and buy the comic book, um, I can just put it on there and I love watching everything at 2x speed. So everything I watch is pretty much two times speed. I, I actually find that I can't watch anything at 1x speed. I can't. Like it's very, very hard. Unless I'm like really trying to f focus on what they're saying. There's lots of stuff going off graphs or something. Uh, but I watch everything at 2x speed and then I can just breeze through everything. One of the <laughs> so I like to watch his stuff if there's a comic series that's compiled together that I want to know about or whatever. So I still watch him uh, or his channel today. So that's there. Uh, next would probably be, uh, I would probably say, I think, yeah, I'd probably Fizz Pop 1. Now, I don't know if many people know about this channel. Uh, he doesn't upload that often. I would say it's sporadic. It was at one point once every couple months. Uh, but then it's like maybe one video every four months, then maybe two in a row in a single month. So it's all the time. Fizz Pop One, he does these deep dive kind of things into unknown, forgotten, golden age heroes for the most part. Sometimes some silver age and bronze age, but most of the time it's golden age heroes. And I kind of like that. So I'll watch all of his videos. Now you should check him out if you're into that kind of stuff. So he did one on the Green Llama. Next, I would say I, I, I fell into was uh, Gem Mint. So you guys are probably very familiar with Gem Mint. And I started watching his stuff probably, you know, maybe. I mean, he wasn't the, the sole reason I created my channel. But it was around that time that I got the inkling to start a channel and he was kind of who I was watching at the time. Um, the person that actually really inspired me to start my channel um, and actually do it, well, outside of me, obviously I'd do it, but was uh, Alpha Investments. So he does magic cards, Rudy. I watch him stuff. So that's why I'm Comic Investments. Literally, that's why. Comic Book Investments, Alpha Investments. Literally, because I watch him all the time. Um, even though I don't deal in magic cards at all, and I just play magic. So it's a very different... It's kind of like a different, it's kind of like you versus me type of thing. So I watch him, even though I don't deal in magic cards at all. I don't even have the physical cards. I play online pretty much every day. Um, magic uh, Gathering Arena is pretty much the only video game I play. Um, so kind of like I sell comic books for a living, like he sells magic cards for a living. And you guys probably there like read comic books for a living. You don't really sell them. Like you use it to enjoy, just like how I do with magic cards. So, but Jim Mint, I really enjoy his stuff. I've watched, you know, the ebbs and flows of his channel. The, you know, he's, he's changed a lot of the time. Um, it was a lot of, you know, just trade paperbacks, omnibuses, and a little bit of comics here and there. And then it switched over to, um, 
more he was on comic tom's channel a lot and did more like podcast style stuff talked about stuff then it switched more into statues recently i think i saw a video of him where he he decided not to continue his whatnot um i guess salary or whatever they whatever you call it he basically were endorsed by whatnot he decided not to do that and he's going back to i guess more things he loves which is like statues things like that i heard he's like selling his house and he might get a a a job like not being a influencer i guess so i've been watching him so i like watching his journey i have no connection with any of these people so far uh, i've never met him in real life or anything like that uh, the next channel would be comic tom uh now comic tom i ever watch watch every once in a while i've also been on his channel uh he's been on my channel and i actually met him in real life and i will say that he is it's so funny because we when we were talking on the phone, like the, one of the first times, he was like, oh, yeah, people call you the anti-Comic Tom. Like, I'm the opposite of him, like Bizarro Comic Tom or something. And the guy could be, couldn't be nicer. He reached out to me when I was probably a very small channel, and he gave me a bunch of pointers and a bunch of tips and a bunch of things and didn't want really anything in return. Just literally called the chat, and we talked for many hours. And, yeah, so he's been nothing but nice to me. Um, so yeah, it's been great. Um, so I'll watch this channel every once in a while. Uh, last, we talked a few months ago, we talked about doing something together, a collaboration, but the issue with, I have with doing collaborations is like, I just don't want to commit to something because I'm always, I'm just so busy as is. And so it's just really hard because like his channel is his business. My channel is not my business. I have my business, and this channel is an afterthought kind of thing. Like, I, I try to work in time for it as much as I can, but it's kind of an afterthought. So being on someone else's channel would be an afterthought of an afterthought. So it's like I really don't want to commit to something like that. Um, I would just feel terrible if I couldn't make it for whatever reason. So that, that's that been, um, you know. But if it's like I told him, I was like, if you want to do like a one off here and there, I can always like squeeze something in. But to like commit like, oh, do this every week or every month at this time, blah, blah, blah. That's just something I just don't want to commit to um, because I really want to work on my own channel, too. So I'd rather spend that time if it was like two hours or whatever it is. I'd rather spend that on this channel and either coming out of the cooler video or something like I have a whole list of videos. It's probably like 500 at this point. <laughs> I've not gotten around to doing. So, yeah. And then the last one would be uh, Swaggle House. Now, uh, Mickey, he is great. I had the pleasure of meeting him at San Diego Comic-Con in person, but we also did, I interviewed him, I believe, or he interviewed me, I can't remember which, um, maybe a couple years ago, a year, two years ago. And so that was the first time I talked to him. And then we met and we had dinner at that PSA dinner thing. And I talked to him for at length for about an hour. Totally nice guy. Had a great conversation with him. Super cool, super chill. Um, I would say... Out of all the channels that I listed, he is the one I will probably end up watching the most um, just because he will do like, he does like more comic book news, um, not all of his stuff, but he does more than like Comic Tom does like here are the top hottest books and he'll dive into that and things like that. Um, while Jen Mint will do like statues, which are like cool to look at, um, but Swaggle House does more of the comic book news, which is nice because then I can kind of see what's going on in the comic book space. So, yeah. So that's kind of nice to see what's going on about pretty much everything. Uh, I didn't even know about the, the lawsuit until he made a video about it. So that's how I first discovered it. Um, so it's like interesting. Those kinds of... Uh, things I'll learn from his channel that I don't normally would learn from. So th those are the ones I would say I pretty much watch. So it's just that kind of stuff. So I, when I watch comic book information uh, videos, I want information. I want information that will uh, be more valuable to me, make you know me either smarter in some capacity, sense why I watch Swaggle House, things like that. Um, that's kind of like even YouTube in general, that's what I seek out when I watch a video. I'm seeking information. I'm seeking information, make me smarter. Oops. So when I see other channels that I'm like, oh, you're not really making me smarter. You're not telling me something that I didn't already know. I don't watch those. So that's kind of where I'm at. So that's why, I, and as far as like just pure entertainment, um, 
my entertainment is information, like I said. So like I need to watch something where I'm literally getting smarter or just gaining knowledge. I have to be gaining knowledge if I'm watching anything on YouTube or doing anything like that. So those are the five channels that I watch. Like I said, they're all been great. Um, anyone that I've ever met or interacted through YouTube, whether uh, I've been on their channel or, you know, they've talked to me or whatever like that, always been positive. I've never, I don't have a single negative thing to say about any YouTuber, not a single thing. I could not think of one YouTuber where I ha ever had really a negative interaction in any capacity. Everything has been beyond positive. And a lot of people always say, oh, don't read the comments and things like that. Anyone that's ever commented, like 99% of, 0.9999% of all comments have always been like positive or honest critiques or just someone's opinion and has never really been negative at all. So I can't really complain at all. I don't know what other people see. Um, maybe, I don't know, I just don't know. I don't know what other people are talking about. So when they talk about comic sec comment section is so bad. Um, so all the comments have always been great. I try to read everyone if I can't get to it. If I do read it, that's why I give a heart. It means that I've read it. And if you're gonna take the time to type it out, I'm gonna try to take the time to at least read it. I'm not gonna get to everyone's, I'm sorry, but I try to. Uh, but yeah, let me know who you guys like that watch. Um, yeah, I'm kind of curious what other channels there are out there that I know of other channels. I've like, like I said, I've seen them or people have mentioned them things like that. And maybe I've like checked out a video or something like that. But like I said, I'm going in there. I need information. So um, yeah, have a great day.